The Bible says in Job 22, 21, it says, Acquaint yourself with God and be at peace, thereby good will come to you. At this time in the history of Israel, they were in captivity in Egypt and the plagues came one after the other. The system was collapsing. There was fear. There was turmoil. There was confusion. There was darkness. The Egyptian economy was failing. There was uncertainty in the land. Plague after plague. The next plague was flies everywhere. Ugly flies everywhere. But God spoke to Moses. He says, I will give you a sign from tomorrow. That the sign will be a separation and a distinction. Oh, I, I don't know what the experts are saying about 2020. But I know it's going to be a tough year. But thank God for the Bible. Because God says, I am the Lord, I do not change. If he did it before, he can do it again. I've come to announce tonight that your time for separation begins tomorrow. But why does God not resolve the issues? We don't know why. But the truth is we can never appreciate light until there's gross darkness. So that the gross darkness, the challenges, the crisis, the problems become the perfect backdrop for God to show that I am God. So that today the world is reeling in a crisis. People don't know what to trust. People don't know who to believe. But God has a plan. What is your responsibility? Because there's God's divine ability. But there's also your own responsibility. Please hear me tonight. I don't know how long the crisis it would last. But see the key to the survival of the people. Wait in the house until the crisis ends. Don't allow yourself to be consumed while the trouble lasts. Stay in the house. What is the house? The Bible is saying stay in a certain attitude. Stay within a certain framework of your mind. Do not panic about the situation. Have a certain attitude. It's an attitude of faith. It's an unshakable trust in God. The just shall live by faith. I want to say to someone, do not be defined by the environment in 2020. And you shall not be afraid of destruction when it comes. The enemy wants you to die in the crisis. The enemy wants to give you high blood pressure, give you anxiety, but be defined by your response to the word of God. The Bible says, when these things come to pass, the crisis, the war, the famine, the pestilence, the Bible says, look up, lift your eyes and look up for your salvation, draw it nigh. The Bible says, believe the Lord and you shall be established. Believe his prophets and you will prosper. Tonight, God has given me a word for 2020. And the word is that you need to have a fearless 2020. Say, I will be separated from the crisis. In the midst of the confusion, I will be at peace. In spite of the trouble, I will come out stronger. Declare 2020 is the year for me to grow.